Well, thanks, Zach. We have on the phone Steve Denman, the longtime head coach at Tehachapi. Steve, uh, how are things going for you up on the hill? Well, we're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, you know, we've had the illness going around, I think, like everybody's got. So yep. Getting everybody healthy. and But we're doing good. Well, that's obviously, you know, I'd, you don't want to go back to the past, but obviously that's a much different uh, mindset than you had maybe th- three or four weeks ago where you guys were 0-4 at one point. Um, kind of go through the progression of this season, how, you, you know, I think the biggest thing, especially with teenagers, is just trying to remind these players again and again and again to just stay the course that the season is long and things can happen and there's three phases of the season. How did you as a coaching staff kind of just keep them motivated despite as the losses just kept on kind of piling up on you guys? Well, you know, it, it's, we've been there and done that. I mean, we just talked about, you know, our past and, and how teams in our past have overcome it and just uh, having a positive attitude and, you know, uh, keep working. It's a grind. It's early in the season. Uh, we knew we had a tough preseason schedule, you know, with all the away games to begin with and then right. tough opponents. And, you know, some of those teams had the best teams uh, they've had in a long time. And then we lost a couple, you know, real close ones. And we told the kids, hey, we're, we're doing good. We just got to keep improving. Right. And obviously one of the big keys back is getting Kieran Scott back. You don't want to talk about just one guy as being the key to getting the season back on track, but having a guy who's such a competitive runner for you, a guy that went over 1,500 yards for you last year and seeing him go down late in the season last year against Ridgeview, um, nice to be able to see him get back, and how much does he bringing him into the fold with the other guys like Jay, uh, Chase Podrats kind of get that run game going once again for you? Yeah, you know, it, it, it was it was kind of a blessing for those guys that Kieran, you know, he was in rehab for the first part of the season because they, they got a lot of tests for the ball and really got to uh, get their feet wet and get it improving. So by him coming back now with us and being in the fold with everybody else, uh, it just uh, it makes everybody better. You know, it makes competition and practice a lot better. Uh, you know, everybody's got to elevate their game with him around. How beautiful is it for you guys as coaches to know that despite, you know, not getting anywhere close to where you wanted to be in the non-league slate, that you can really just kind of forget that now and just move towards doing as well as you can in the South Yosemite League. And, you know, knowing that you guys at 2 and one right now with two weeks left, you still have a chance for a league title or a share of the league title. Yeah, you know, that, and that's what we tell, tell our kids, you know, hey, we control our own destiny, and we just got to do what we do. And uh, don't worry about anybody else, and just keep working, keep grinding, keep, uh, uh, you know, improving on a daily basis and a weekly basis. And, and uh, you know, when you keep doing that, uh, for the most part, good things will happen for you. Steve, after 34 years, what, what keeps you going? What keeps you and Pat and the rest of your coaching staff continue doing this up on the hill year after year after year coaching mountain football <laughs> well you know number one we really enjoy each other as a coaching staff we get along you know and and uh and then we got great kids 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 work hard and and they're real coachable and and uh you know it's just it's a it's a fun time you know kids keep you young and we just keep, uh, keep working and and uh you know they're just fun to be around, and and like I said, the coaches, uh, all of us, uh, we're all good friends, and and uh, I think it just uh, it all just works uh, works real well together. Tonight's opponent, Ridgeview, obviously a team that lost just two games the last two seasons combined. Um, they had a rough go, much like you guys did in their non-league slate. Talk to me about what you guys need to do to make it a successful Warrior win tonight. Well, anytime you face a team like like Ridgeview, has got a lot of weapons, uh, especially on offense. Uh, you know, your your uh, your defense has got to you know hopefully bend but not break. But in order to to help your D, your our offense has to move the ball. You know, last year we were exchanging blows with them right up to the middle of the second quarter and and right in the game with them. And you know, we fumbled the ball and they returned a you know fumble for a touchdown and yep. we fumbled the ball again and we Kieran gets hurt and. Uh, then uh, our best our best defensive player goes down that second second quarter, and then the kind of the wheels fell off. But uh, we just have to you know get first downs with our offense, keep, keep our offense on the field, and uh, and 
pressure off our defense. All right, well, Steve, appreciate it, as always, having you on the show and enjoy tonight's game. I'm glad we are able to broadcast a little mountain football down here in the Valley. Uh, appreciate your time, and obviously we'll catch up with you uh, after the game. All right, thank you. All right, appreciate it, Steve. And, Zach, back to you.